LNT Solar Pump Controller SMS Facility. Almost all functions of the solar pump controller can be operated and monitored using SMS. In this video, we will understand this facility in detail. Registration of mobile number with remote monitoring unit that is RMU. To register the master mobile number, send an SMS star 111 hash mobile number of the proposed master star 3518 star to the remote monitoring unit or the RMU. Here 3518 is the default password. The response SMS will confirm that the number is registered. If you resend the same SMS to the unit, it will respond with an SMS, you are already registered. Apart from the master mobile, you can register three more secondary users with the unit. For registering a secondary user, send an SMS star 112 hash mobile number of user star 1 star to the unit. The response SMS will confirm that the user number has been registered. It will also contain mobile numbers of both the master and the user. You can register second and third user by sending a similar message. For this, the digit 1 at the end of the SMS should be replaced by 2 and 3 respectively. List of users To get the list of registered users, send SMS star 113 hash to the unit. The response SMS will contain the mobile number of the master as well as all the secondary users. Deleting user number For deleting a user number, send an SMS star 114 hash user number to be deleted to the unit. For example, if you want to delete the first user, send SMS star 114 hash 1 star to the unit. For deleting the second and the third users, you can send SMS star 114 hash 2 star and star 114 hash 3 star respectively. The response SMS displays the mobile number of the deleted user and confirms that it has been deleted from the system successfully. Now if you check the list of users by sending an SMS 113 hash, you will find that it does not contain the above number. Unknown or unregistered number, changing master number. If the RMU receives a call from an unknown mobile number, it disconnects the call automatically after one ring. If you want to register this number as a new master, send an SMS star 111 hash mobile number of the proposed new master star 3518 star from the existing master number. Here 3518 is the default password. The response SMS confirms that the new number is registered as the master. Now if you call the unit from this new master number, it will disconnect the call after three rings and turn on the pump. Simultaneously, it will send an SMS to the new master indicating that the pump has been turned on. To switch off the pump, call the unit again from the new master number. The unit will cut the call after six rings and switch off the pump. Simultaneously, it will send an SMS to the new master indicating that the pump has been turned off. Setting USSD code for SIM card inside RMU. For setting the USSD code for the SIM card inserted into the RMU, send an SMS star 401 hash 111 star 0 star to the unit. The USSD code depends on the service provider of the SIM card. For example, it is star 111 hash for Vodafone. So we will use 111. The response SMS contains the USSD code along with time and date. You can read the USSD code by sending an SMS star 402 hash to the unit. The response SMS will contain the USSD code with time and date. Enable Disable Auto Balance Mode To enable the Auto Balance Mode, send an SMS 
star 403 hash 1 star to the unit. The response SMS will confirm that the auto balance facility has been enabled. Now the unit will send SMS indicating the balance of the SIM card inserted in the RMU after every 20 messages. To disable this facility, send an SMS star 403 hash 0 star to the unit. The response SMS will confirm that the facility has been disabled. Now, the unit will discontinue sending SMS for balance update. Timer setting. The user can set four timers for a day. To set the first timer, send an SMS star 211 hash start time star stop time star to the unit. Remember that the time has to be entered in HHMM format only. The response SMS will confirm timer setting and contain the on and off time. On similar lines, you can set timer 2, timer 3 and timer 4. The initial codes to be used for the same shall be 212, 213 and 214 respectively. Reading timers. To read all timers, send an SMS star 210 hash to the unit. The response SMS consists of details of all timer setting with respective on and off time. Deleting timer. To delete a timer, send an SMS star 222 hash 1 star to the unit. Year 1 stands for the first timer. The response SMS confirms deletion of timer 1 with date and time. Similarly, you can delete balance 3 timers by sending SMS messages star 222 hash 2 star star 222 hash 3 star and star 222 hash 4 star respectively. Controller Location To get the GPS coordinate of the solar controller, send an SMS star 310 hash to the unit. The response SMS contains a Google Map link showing the exact location of the solar controller. Reading MPPT settings To read MPPT settings, send an SMS star 120 hash to the unit. The response SMS will contain details of VOC voltage, VMP voltage, VMP gain, VMP ref, temperature, P gain and I gain. Reading drive parameters. To read drive parameters, send an SMS star 130 hash to the unit. The response SMS will have details like status of the pump, mode, frequency, VOL, current, RPM and direction of the motor rotation. Reading protection parameters. To read protection parameters, send an SMS star 140 hash to the unit. The response contains the information regarding MPP frequency high, MPP frequency low, sleep frequency, sleep delay time, dry run frequency and dry run time. Reading drive runtime parameters. To read drive runtime parameters, send an SMS star 150 hash to the unit. The response SMS contains information about pump status, mode, current DC link voltage, RPM, power, energy, the on time for which the unit is on, the run time for which the controller has been running and the temperature. Reading motor parameters. To read motor parameters, send an SMS star 160 hash to the unit. The response SMS contains information like type of motor, number of poles in motor, rated current of motor, efficiency, no load current, carrier frequency and VF pattern. Parameter setting through SMS. Now let us see how to do setting for various parameters using the SMS facility. Pump start. To start the pump, send an SMS star 001 hash to the unit. 
The response contains information like status of pump, that is on, mode, DC link voltage, direction of the motor, temperature, on time, run time and the time stamp. If you send the same SMS again for turning on the pump, the response SMS will confirm that the pump is already on. Other parameters would be shown similar to the previous message. Pump stop. To switch off the pump, send an SMS star 000 hash to the unit. The response SMS is received after some time as the RMU waits till the motor reaches zero frequency and then sends the response. It indicates the status of the pump that is off, mode, DC link voltage, temperature and the time stamp. Setting VOC value. For setting VOC value, send an SMS star 501 hash VOC value star to the unit. The response SMS confirms the set value along with time and date. Setting VMP value. To set the VMP value, send an SMS star 502 hash VMP value star to the unit. The response SMS confirms the set value along with time and date. Setting VMP gain value. To set the VMP gain value, send an SMS star 503 hash VMP gain value star to the unit. The response SMS confirms the set value along with time and date. Setting MPPT high frequency value. To set the MPPT high frequency value, send an SMS star 504 hash MPPT high frequency value star to the unit. The response SMS confirms the set value along with time and date. Setting MPPT low frequency value. To set the MPPT low frequency value, send an SMS star 505 hash MPPT low frequency value to the unit. The response SMS confirms the set value along with time and date. Setting sleep delay time. To set the sleep delay time, send an SMS star 506 hash sleep time delay value star to the unit. The response SMS confirms the set value along with time and date. Setting sleep frequency value. To set the sleep frequency value, send an SMS star 507 hash sleep frequency value to the unit. The response SMS confirms the set value along with time and date. Receiving pump status SMS. When you receive an SMS indicating that the pump is on or off and the cause is manual, it means that someone has manually turned on or turned off the pump by using the start stop push button on the controller panel. This allows the user to be aware of the status of the pump even if the same is done manually. This SMS is sent only to the master number and not to other users. Receiving fault SMS. If you receive an SMS indicating that there is a fault in the system and the voltage is low, it means that the voltage provided by the solar panel has gone down below the permissible limit and therefore the fault has occurred. Once the voltage increases and is above the permissible threshold level, an SMS is received by the master stating that the fault is cleared and the supply to the drive is healthy. Default setting factory reset. For setting the drive to default settings mode, send an SMS star 333 hash 1 star to the unit. Now all the parameters will be set to their respective default values. So this is basically a factory reset command. The response SMS will indicate that the factory reset command has been accepted and the control parameters are set to default values. Changing password. Only the master can change the password of the system. For this, send an SMS star 190 hash new four digit password star to the unit. The response SMS will confirm 
that the password has been changed successfully. If you try to register a user with the wrong password, the response SMS will indicate password mismatch error and will prompt you to send the SMS with correct password again. When you use correct password for registering the master number, it will receive the response SMS indicating that the number has been registered. Also remember that if you send an SMS which is not defined, you would get a response SMS indicating wrong format, invalid query, permission denied. In such a situation, you need to check the user manual.